happening, everybody? My name is AT from Headcrack Studios, and today I want to do a quick tutorial about side chaining, uh, specifically in Studio One. Uh, like a lot of other people, um, I did start off in Pro Tools, actually Adobe Audition for those who know what that is. <laughs> nah, but I mainly used Pro Tools for a while. I'm actually using both now. I do use Pro Tools at my main studio, but I'm actually at home right now, and I do have my Studio One rig uh, pulled up because it's just more convenient for me without the eye lock and all that good stuff but avid still does what they do because they do it great but we're on studio one um and i just want to go over side chaining because i found it i found it real convenient in this uh daw versus pro tools um it's just a quick overview for those that have questions or like need a technical explanation of what side chaining is um as it reads, all I did was Google what is side chaining. Uh, side chaining is a production technique used in a wide variety of music genres where an effect is activated by an audio track. In other words, it's using an alternative audio source to trigger a processor. And um, yeah, they go into side chaining and EDM and all that good stuff. But actually, it's real convenient because that's exactly what we're using it for today. So obviously, um, I'm going to be using one of my songs and this is a hip hop song i didn't mean to say obviously because you guys don't know yet <laughs> but we're going to be using one of my songs this is called ain't like us and um we're going to be using it exactly for that matter for the, um for the 808 kick and the 808 so i'll just play a snippet and then we'll get into the nitty gritty First sip, thinking to myself, times change. Phone and stacks, watching the rows that all these dollars paid. Back when I was younger, crime is how we got away from being told we couldn't afford it. My mama raised a hustler. Her blood runs through my body all day. Slinging in the hallway to speed it in a car chase. Yeah. So, um... As you can tell, the bass and uh, the 808 and the kicks are pretty present and they're pretty prominent in the mix. Um, and they're a big portion of the song. So, um, yeah, with that said, let's jump into it. So here's the 808. I want to play. So we have two kicks on this song, actually, and I renamed them because it was one and two. But the first kick, we get to it. You know, it's pretty high end. It's pretty uh, mid rangey. This is the beefy kick. And then this is the 808. So automatically, once I got the stems, I realized that that 808 kick and the 808, those are going to be the things that are competing with each other. And they're actually on the same hits. They're on the same tempo. They have the same actual pattern. So I'm like, okay, so these are going to have to get some, you know, they're going to have to live with each other to, through this whole mix. So here's what I did. So I'm already on there. Let's click this mix. I apologize. I am on my laptop. So the screen is a little condensed, but we're going to make it work. So here's the tracks. And we're on the 808 kick. So... What I did, here's the 808 kick, here is the 808. So I'm just going to show you how the sidechain works right now. So this is the F6 that I use. It's a dynamic uh, EQ, which means that it has compression qualities, and I love it. So let's just get this going. And here's the kick, here's the 808, and you'll see every time it hits, this is the 808 track, you'll see every time the kick hits that the 808 jumps down. <laughs> First sip, thinking to myself, times change. Folding stacks, watching the rows that all these dollars paid. Back when I was younger, crime is how we got away from being told we couldn't afford it. And without it. First sip, thinking to myself, times change. Folding stacks, watching the rows that all these dollars paid. Now, if you're listening on your laptop or if you're listening on your iPhone, then you really won't notice a difference. But if you have headphones on, which I suggest, uh, preferably studio headphones, um, you'll hear just the muddiness. It's, it's not OD, like overly muddy, but it is, um, it's not clear enough for me because I like to hear that kick because it's hip hop. You want to hear that kick in your face, but you also want the bass. So without it, again, first sip, thinking to myself, times change. With it. First sip, thinking to myself, times change. Now, you know, you do compromise some of the punch of the 808, but the tail end of it comes back up once the attack is done and once you get the attack and release right of the kick so i'm going to show you guys how to do that really quick enough with the theory so let's just take this out boom so here's what we're going to do we're going to go on the 808 track right and first and foremost let's do this it's f6 this is another fun feature of studio one um you could just search the plugins all right 
So now we got the 808 pulled up. First sip, thinking to myself, times change. Phone the stack. Boom. So now we know, boom, right there. That's exactly what I wanted to show you guys. So that's where the 808 is living. Exactly, I don't even need to move it. Like around 45, 50, you know, 45 to 60 hertz. So I like to just do the same thing to the kick. You know, you can feel it out, play it by ear too as well. But I just like to just be able to see it and get a little more technical. There you go. So you see that peak right there at 54, exactly too. And there's no, there's no gain. So that's exactly where the 808 kick is peaking. And that's exactly where the 808 is living as well. So we're going to take that out because we don't need it. So let's just stay at 54 right now. So what we want to do right here, easy, side chain. I'm going to click the arrow, 808 kick. And what that just did creates a send. So right now, Studio One is sending the signal from the 808 kick to the F6 on the 808. And this is side chaining. So now what we're going to do is click the one because that's what we want. We actually want it on 54, so that's perfect. Uh, the Q, you know, for people that know, let me see, I'll just show you what a Q is really quick. The Q is just how thin or how wide the EQ is. I honestly just leave it at one, maybe tighten it just a little bit. That way it's good to go. So now what we want to do is set our source to external. So now it's going to be getting the signal from the side chain versus getting the signal from the actual audio clip. So now what we want to do is just treat this like a compressor right now. So now we're not even EQing, we're technically compression, compressing, sorry. And um, I like to do, actually I did a slower attack on this for the reason of I wanted the 808 to have some character. So I kind of kept it in the middle, but I do want it to release faster. That way I only want it to compress as long as the kick. So now let's just set it and it actually won't work with anything solo. So we're going to have to do this with the whole music. Well, we won't be able to hear it. So first sip thinking to myself, times change, phone the stack. Sorry. And then we want to do the range. Ah, uh, the range varies. I like to start at like two or go even lower just to see the effect and then tweak it to the point where it's right. So let's just go super low so we can see the effect happening. <laughs> And then threshold for those that know compression is obviously where, you know, how much the compressor is going to work. And this EQ, um, this plugin, sorry, has a nice display of how, you know, how high the signal is in the threshold. So you kind of can gauge it from there. First sip, thinking to myself, times change. Phone the stacks, watching the rows that all these dollars paid. Back when I was younger, crime is how we got. Now, as you can see, every time the kick hits, the 808 kick hits, the 808 dips out. So that's a good move because now we got some clear kick and we have the 808. But in this particular song, the 808, see, here's the 808 kick. It just drops there and the 808 comes out. But you, I still wanted some punch. So I kind of wanted them to blend more. So turn this. So this is how much the compressor is going to take out the 808, how much it's going to compress. I went for like negative two and let's do the threshold a little less aggressive. First sip, thinking to myself, times change. Phone the stacks, watching the rows that all these dollars paid. Back when I was younger, Sorry. crime is how we got away from being told we couldn't afford it. My mama raised a hustler. Her blood runs through my body all day. Slinging in the hallway to speed it in a car chase. Dollars. Sounds clean to me. You actually hear more of the first kick too. You may hear more of the high end now because the kick is able to, um, you know, kick is able to live a little more versus getting drowned out by that 808. And this is a good uh, tool if you want that 808 to breathe. You want that 808 to feel alive versus having to turn it down so much so the kick can breathe. So, um, yeah, guys, that's basically it. So, quick overview. You throw any kind of compressor like this. Um, there's a million of them out there. I, I use the F6. There's the C6, stuff like that. But the F6 is really... um. It's really intuitive for me. I love it. And um, Studio One does a good job of having the side chain button there. You click the side chain button, click the channel that you want um, the actual plugin to be activated by. So this is the 808 kick. So that means this channel right here is going to be activated by the 808 kick. And then first sip, voila. to myself, times change. Phone the stacks, watching the rows that all these dollars paid. Back when I was younger, crime is how we got away from there you go, man. And that is side chaining in Studio One in a nutshell. 
If you do have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section. And if you do like this video, please like and subscribe. Once again, my name is AT and the song is called Ain't Like Us. Uh, I will leave a link in the description. That way you guys can actually listen to the final product and tell me if you like the song or not. I got thick skin. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> but um, that's it, man. So once again, this is Side Chaining Studio One. My name is AT and we are out of here.